Well, state of the master update. Uh, here's where I'm going to start the night. As you can see, just moving my light back here. We got a lot of holes to fill. So uh, that's going to be me. I'm going to put it on some time lapse here and we'll see how far we can get. Well, that's going to do for tonight. Uh, I mean, I filled in a lot of it. There's definitely low spots. But overall, looks like contour's pretty good. So that'll be it for, for this side for the night. It's about 10 o'clock. So I'm going to call it an early night as far as the uh, Master Deluxe is concerned. But in any case, I'll get back after it. Finished welding that side. Got to come over here. Didn't even start on this side, so... More fun of the same stuff later on. In any case, when I'm done with both of these, then we'll move on to another skill that I have no idea what I'm doing. Probably using some lead filler just to keep the nostalgia of this car. So anyways, that's where I'm leaving it. Well, there's the driver's side, <clears throat> and I think we got a pretty good line up there after doing all the cut and butt. So that was all on time lapse. I don't know how long it actually took me. I'll have to look at the video and find out. But I think that, um, you know, I did get a little bit better uh, contour here. That's ah, real nice there. This stuff here, there's still some low spots. I mean, it kind of, it looks pretty okay on the video. It's kind of, you know, it's more like the Rocky Mountains than Kansas, but, um, you know, I'll take it. So, uh, I'm going to spend a whole lot more time zipping these together. Uh, I got to put my little filler in there, but you saw that before. I did, a, I did fill in this side here and did more grinding. So, uh, <clears throat> coming together, I think we got the profile pretty good. So I'll pull it out here in a minute just so it can get some sunshine. It's actually nice today. Well, look at that treat my wife just brought me. So I just wanted to take a, a minute. This seemed like a good time at this point in what I've done to the car with the chalk. Uh, you know, talking about planning to do this, having never done anything like this before with this kind of car, this style of roof, this style of the, the window and all that kind of thing. Uh, you know, I really, I thought ahead, I tried to plan ahead. I did a lot of reading and a lot of research so that I could come up with kind of an idea of how I'm gonna get the, the look that I wanted. So there was a couple things that I, uh, I looked up and I read some articles, I read lots of, you know, different techniques on how to do the chop, how to, you know, if you want to move the window forward, you know, you create a sail panel, you create a catwalk, you know, there's lots of different ways you can cut the whole window out and lay it down, change the rear profile of the car. So, you know, there really was a lot of in the background looking at this stuff before I actually did it. Um, and I think it actually has turned out pretty well so far. There's, you know, obviously a lot more work ahead of me. Um, it's kind of funny, you know, I think it might have been like the, the second or third video I made. 
you know, I got my first internet troll. Somebody made the comment, like, I really screwed the pooch when I made that cut. Uh, I was like, dude, I've never done this before, so whatever. You know, I guess let that one roll off your back. But, you know, you're not really going to know how to do this unless you actually do it. I mean, I did all the reading and that kind of stuff. But until you actually get your hands on it and you make this cut and say, oh, shit, now i got to put it back together, you know, unless you're out there doing it, yeah, keep, keep it to yourself, I guess, you know, but I do appreciate the people who have made comments, uh, you know, encouraging comments about, you know, the work that's gone into this. Hey, it's my car. I'm going to do it the way I really want to. And I'm learning, you know, if I do another one, that's great in the future. I will, you know, take the lessons that I learned and probably do the next one better. But for what I've got so far, I'm super satisfied. So uh, I'm just going to make, uh, I'm going to take the camera off. I'm going to show you some of the articles that I read for inspiration and to teach myself, but I tell you what, there's nothing like the hands-on actually making the cut, actually trying to clamp it back together, because you can look at those pictures all you want. You know, unless you actually do it, it's, you don't, you know, you don't have a feel for how hard it is to manipulate that, hold it in place, clamp it, make the cut, and actually tack it back together. So, um, you know, anyways, just a little, I don't know, philosophy, you know, my thoughts on the process so far. In any case, let me bring you in here and show you some of these uh, pictures and articles that I was looking at. All right, well, this should be the first indication that I'm definitely not a professional YouTuber because I have no idea how to <clears throat> get a screenshot, voiceover, and make a video. So I just got the camera on a tripod, <clears throat> and I'm going to look and point at this while I'm uh, going along. So in any case, this is an article from 2010. Uh, you know, this is months and months ago. I had planned on doing this chop, so I was starting to read more in, in these articles. So I found this one. It was on a 3536 Chevy sedan. Not exactly what I'm doing, but uh, this is a great overview on how to do a chop. So uh, you can see they were doing a two-door there. Uh, if we just click on the view gallery here, I'll put the link for uh, this article and the other one I'm going to talk about. Uh, I'll put that in the uh, description. You can click on that. Go check out these articles. Great information. So in any case, uh, they did something like a three inch chop on it. I'm going to skip ahead to uh, the roof because I think that's been the, the, you know, the kind of the most consternation for me was figuring out how exactly I was going to do that. So in any case, here you can see, I hope on this picture, how they had made all those relief cuts uh, into the roof, uh, just like I did. Uh, and then, you know, gently kind of folded, you know, the lower part of the roof forward, lifted this part up uh, because there was that huge gap like it has on this picture. Uh, so you can see kind of the same exact thing, uh, you know, kind of clamped them together. There was some overlap, uh, you know, then did the, the relief cuts and then, and then butt welded them, cut and butt them back together. So uh, it goes through in good detail in this article on how to do that. Uh, so... You know, this is a little bit of the, the reading, the mind prep that I did getting ready for uh, this build. Another one that I found, and I read this a long time ago as well, is from uh, customcarchronicle.com. Again, links will be in the description. Uh, this was, this is just a great history of doing chops. I mean, it goes, this is from 2016. Uh, it goes through all sorts of old articles, old nostalgic articles, and, you know, the styling of the time, you know, when, when people started doing this in the 30s and 40s, um, you know, there's some great little snippets in here, newspaper articles, old magazine articles, pretty cool, um, really, really awesome information, and it's, it's a pretty long article. I'm going to skip down to the bottom, because when I first read through it, uh, I missed this, uh, and I came back to it a long time later, rereading it, it's towards the bottom here. And as we get, it's almost at the very end. Right here. So they're talking about Sam Barris, uh, and this is a 1939 Mercury, it says. But if I zoom in on this, I think I can. Hopefully you can appreciate same kind of cuts. They made those relief cuts uh, in that roof right back there in the C pillar to uh, bring that new profile to, to the, you know, the rear quarter of the roof. So I think that, you know, honestly, it would, if I had the capacity, if I had an English wheel or something like that, you know, just to actually cut out that whole portion of the roof 
and form a panel and then have one seam across the top and one across the bottom, man, that would be super awesome. Uh, but as it stands, you know, I kind of have the nostalgic uh, influence. You know, this is the way that hot rodders used to do it. So uh, I thought it was kind of cool to find this photo, you know, months after I had uh, been doing the reading and I kind of uh, forgot that that was in, in this article. In any case, you know, just wanted to share a little bit of the, you know, the background. I did a lot of reading and research before I actually went whacking on the car here because I actually, you know, I wanted it to turn out halfway decent. So um, go read those articles. They're awesome. I learned from them. Hopefully uh, everybody out there can learn from them as well. Well, got it outside. It's actually halfway decent today. Just figured we'd look at the finished rear quarter here. Uh, I did put my patch in there. Got these mostly ground down on both sides. So I think that overall, you know, it's coming together. Uh, there is an awful lot more to do as far as, you know, if this was to be a finished look. But I think that we changed the overall appearance of the car substantially uh, by dropping four inches so a lot more to do next will be the doors notice the absence of those but i did take it around the little uh end of the road here and got her moving got a little sunshine on her cleaned the garage up it's nice to be outside so anyways project's coming along Just kind of wanted to show what it looks like on the inside here. So that's the driver's side. Um, you can see lots of little pinholes, of course, that need to be filled in. Um, and here is the passenger side. So, I mean, it came together pretty well. I just kind of wanted everybody to be able to see, you know, what it, what it looked like uh, after those, I don't know what to call them, the fingers came back together uh, after I chopped the roof off. So, um, anyways. It's kind of where we're at right at the moment. So got everything cleaned up and I think that's about gonna do it for this video. Thanks for coming back and checking things out. See you next time.